There's a lot of people who have not heard of the On One Photo Raw project, and I just want to make sure that I bring awareness to this because if you're a user of On One Photo Raw, I highly recommend that you take some time to look through what people are suggesting be added to On One, or you can make your own suggestions. Now, you do have to be an owner of On One Photo Raw to get to the Photo Raw project. Let me show you how to get here. If you go to the On One webpage and you scroll all the way down to the bottom, all right, just gonna move all the way down to the bottom, you get to these little blocks down here. And if you click the Photo Raw project underneath resources, it's going to bring you to this page right here. Now, it's gonna prompt you to log in if you're not already logged in. I have logged in with my account, so that's why I'm here. Now, what can you do on this page? you can submit an idea, right? So if I click post your idea, you get this little window here and I can type in here and do all the stuff that I want. Like my number one pet peeve that on one doesn't do. Add the ability, if I could spell, ability to remove nodes in the curves module. And then you can just spell it out. This needs, to be added now. I can't spell today, but you get the point. And then you would just hit submit. Now that we're back on the main page, here are all of the latest submissions, right? You get some filters here. Uh, you can check by status and we'll talk about that here in a second. You can look at all of the topics, right? And these are tags that on one is created and this list goes a very long ways down. So. Uh, you can look through that on your own time if you so choose, but uh, then the last one sorted by latest, most common, or the highest rating. So how do I come in here and look at things to see what's going on? Well, my very first place to start is with the status, and I love to go with the under review. And the reason why I come to the under review is because this lets me know what on one is potentially looking into, right? Because if it's already been declined, then it's been declined and we'll go there later. But the under review is actually what's the most impressive. It looks like the last time something was marked as under review was November 10th. And that was for the mouse wheel zoom. So this user here is saying, I can't emphasize enough how this should be a standard feature. My bread and butter is portraits and the ability to quickly zoom in and out using the control plus mouse wheel is invaluable. No keyboard or typing percent numbers in thanks. As much as I prefer on one, I find myself using Luminar Neo 90%. When I click on the link to open up the thread, I'm sent to this page here. And at the top, I have some star ratings. If I hover over this, I can choose what number I would personally rate this. And as we've seen on the previous screen, this got a 4.4 review, which means that most of the people are saying, yes, this is almost a five star. Uh, we need on one to really take notice of this. The more you vote on a particular topic, or uh, submission, the higher it moves up on on one's radar. Now, I don't have anything in stone that says that that's exactly what happens, but as I've been observing this particular page or this uh, form, if you will, I noticed that on one really does pay attention as the stars go up. That doesn't mean that they're going to release that particular submission or add that feature to on one or whatever but it does mean that it's going to get reviewed by the technicians over at on one to see if it's something they can add. Now you get an option here to comment if you want to. Now, this is obviously telling everybody that I'm logged in, uh, and your name will be there once you log in. And it's like a normal form, right? Uh, this isn't very complicated in its approach. Now, we're gonna go ahead and go back to the project. And to go back, you just click on the uh, logo or the header up here that says on one photo raw project. And we're gonna go back to the under review. All right, uh, and we'll scroll down. Now, if you wanted to, you can even sort the under review by the highest rating. So 
this is how I like to use the photo raw project page is filter it by under review and then go to the highest rating to really see like what the community is throwing out there now some of them you're not going to be able to rate like this one it's at a 7.3 but the feature is no longer available for me to add my own rating to it and this is an equivalent of photoshop smart layers that would be really cool so this post here is saying ai level of horizons now that would be kind of cool but you know i'm not really feeling the ai stuff that on one is releasing right now uh, so i want them to fix the ai items that they have in on one but i digress from that so the next thing uh and this is a 5.2 uh, browse should be available in the edit module. I'm not entirely sure what they're asking for here uh, because you do get the film strip view and I know that that's not browse but if you have a dual monitor display you should be able to have browse open on one monitor and then have the edit of the uh, the image that you're working on on another monitor so but it is under review so that means that on one probably has merited this and I'm clearly not reading this individual's post I think you get the point outside of the under review what I like to do is come in here to the launched section. And the reason for this is this is what on one is saying that they're releasing in their software or it has been released in their software. And the last time that something has been updated to launched was November 7th and it's for sharpening. Allow send to other applications and edit. Make it easier to interact with other applications such as Topaz, Sharpen AI, and Denoise AI. And this is where I really go and find my content. You know, hey, cat's out of the bag. You know where I find my content and, or not all of it, but you know, I do find a fair amount of my content from this area right here in the launch section now it's like okay well let me go see what on one is saying this new feature really looks like when it come you know that is being claimed as launch here with you guys uh zoom in with slider with the zoom tool you have next to the fit 100 500 25 the slider to zoom in on the top of the screen you don't have this slider on the right side when the nav tab is activated okay when you're using the mask function you no longer have the slider on the top and no longer and okay so you know this I probably wouldn't make a video about this but you get the point you get to learn more things so it's like oh okay well now I know that somehow they launched something about a zoom in with a slider Hopefully you have found some value in knowing that this form exists for the users of the on one community. So if you found this content value at it, man, smash the like button. And if you're new, consider subscribing so you can get more information about not just on one, but other photo editing applications, because I do use more than just on one. I happen to just make videos on on one, which I'm changing in 2023. So if you want to see more content about other photo editing apps, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And until the next time, I want you to stay inspired and keep creating. Peace.